Hello there, this is C-A-N-W-A-N Kenan from Kenan Place and today we're going to play part 14 of Baruku Girls. Anyway, I think the video now we can make it shorter a bit because I have some ID issues with the other game called Atom Girls. So yeah, so the videos can only be 15 minutes long, maybe temporar temporarily until I find a solution. Alright, there are 13, yep, this is part 14. Alright, but Nev had me help had me tight and her hair barely gave as much as an inch as Gwen moved purposely towards me, raising one leg, and moving so that she stood right over me, gazing into my eyes with pure hatred. Whoa. Pure hatred over me? Hmm, I wonder. We were almost free, you monster. Whoa, they saying him a monster. And what about the people of Keihei Village? And all of the overworlders you have destroyed? Doesn't their freedom matter at all? Bash! Gweno gave me a vicious slap to my right cheek as even as tentacles of living ooze emerged from her, wrapping around my legs. Tears of rage and hatred spilled from her eyes as she straddled me. No! Remember, you have to bring him over to the darkness but you can't drive him uh, feral. We need his mind, not just his body, so be careful. Gwen gave a single croak and not even as she spread over my lower body and ripped open the front of my shirt. Whoa! Snarling at me as she wrecked her nails over my chest, nails that were laced with flames and sent me crying out in agony, she then grabbed my throat and halfway choked me as she brought my face up, up to her own. Whoa. She's quite fierce, eh? I hate you as I have never hated anyone before. Are you sure? Gwen all then clapped. Whoa. Did, was, was there some, just some bubble song? Gwen all then clamped her hands over my mouth and before I knew what was happening, sent streams of her vicious substance creeping into my mouth. Whoa. Is this supposed to sound sexual? The foul substance tasted the same way I could imagine sewer water would and was cold and horrible as it drained down into my throat. Ew. The same foul substance that wrapped about me even as it began to rhythmically pounce about my fame. Okay. Go on, give in, no one's coming to help you. Just give in, feel the darkness, the ecstasy of it all. And to my horror, I could feel something rising in me. I felt hatred, I felt rage, I felt lush, lust, and much, much worse. In the past, I had ex experienced some not so nice impulse and urges. Things I hate feeling and thinking would flash through my mind and make me sicken. And all of these things always been quick way to say were wrong and evil and was quick to slash and shove them out of my mind, okay? But what I was experiencing at that moment was the same thing, only much much worse. Hmm, can't imagine that though. I was, I was every evil I could ever have conceived, every act of cruelty and barbarism that I was physically capable of, and it was all flowing free, freely throughout, through my mind. Whoa! Even as I struggled to shove the vile horrors of my consciousness, they kept coming, they kept becoming stronger. Whoa, so that's how he's taken over to the dark side, eh? And what was even worse was the way my body reacted to them. Just as I felt a surge of horror, disgust and fascination when watching what the village head had been twisted by evil, my body reacted to horrors that were now flowing through my mind with the deepest of pleasure. I wanted this evil. I wanted to commit this evil. Whoa. I wanted to chew to every act of wanton of hatred, cruelty that my imagination could conjure up. And every time I tried to force them down, they pushed back at me that much harder. It's what you want, you know it. Whoa. Those overworld friends as your toys to beat and play with then finally break when you're bored when they bore you. Their homes to tear down so you can review their screams, revolve, just give in to what your flesh desires. 
My body wanted to succumb, the image that horrified my mind tantalized my flesh in a way I would never have imagined possible. But I knew where the, this road went. I knew what happened if I gave in, if I, I would be another monster, another slave of the underworlders to be used and ultimately dispose of the instance I was no longer needed. Yeah, 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 resist, man. And then there was Asahi, Don, Liana, and everyone else in Kehi Village. Of all the all of them, people with their own lives and will and feelings and future before them. And the uh, Underworlders wanted to take all this and drown them in a crescent crespoo of pure evil before leaving them to rot in it. Ew. That's Liana. And no matter how hard my body urged me to cave in, I fought against that picturing the people that stood to suffer if I give in. And I fought, I fought, and lost a bit more of myself and with each passing second. The deluge of wanton selfishness drowning out reasons and compassion with each movement of Gwenor's form over my body. Feels like he's being raped. Hmm, whoa, by lots of tentacles, slowly eroding everything that actually mattered to me in an exponential wave of cruel pleasure and false promises, taking and perverting every memory I had, the image of the good people that lay within me. Alright, Asahi, promise. Asahi! Promise that if you do manage to escape back to the world, that you always remember me as I am. Not the thing I'll become if the Underworlders have their way. Asahi, the first friend I had made since arriving in Boroku. The gentle warrior I had tended to when she needed me and had guided me when I needed her. The brave young woman that has been so scared in the face of what seemed to be an inevitable doom and yet kept fighting away. Her image danced in my mind like a photo I was desperately clutching to even as her hurricane winds Threaten to tear it away. Whoa, what a description it. Good, 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 good. Give in. Hey, 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 it's showing, man. It's showing, man. I can see you. No, you know what? I can see it, man. Remember me. Alright. <coughs> I think we should first uh, resist the evil and then maybe I'll come back to see what happened if we succumb to darkness, alright? Or maybe you should succumb to darkness first. How about that? So let's succumb to darkness. And then Asahi was gone from my mind. And in her place was a fog of dark flame and desires. What was Asahi? What were any of the overworlders or any other people of the uh, of the world? I suddenly felt disconnected from them. It was as if they didn't matter to me. And as the fog moved through my mind, the more I realized that they truly didn't matter at all. What are they? Friends, allies, the concept no longer made any sense. I was aware that they once had some meaning, but not anymore. It was like it happened to someone else. I like I had watched someone on a video screen develop this relationship, feel those things. And it had been that the person had felt those attachments, understood things such as friendship, friends and relationships. But that person was gone now. There was only me. That's what mattered. Me. And as for them, what are they? That's right, Gavin. You know you want to. You want to take what's rightfully yours. Do what you want to them. And you will just, as soon as you give in, do what I want. Yes. The images of the overworder I had encountered flashed through my thoughts. And as they did, so did the image of the things I want to do to them. Zen, he wanted to turn me away when I was when I had been injured, owing I owe him I owe him nothing but pain. Alright, and the others so many women, so many last women with bountiful bodies. The things I could do to such women, especially with the power of will in this world of blocks that heeded my every command. It was like a champagne cock that had been popped up from my imagination. The imagery that I had previously fought so hard erupted into my consciousness with a force beyond my belief. 
But whereas the person that had been there before had fought with all his might to resist them, I welcomed them with open arms, and the great thrills of pleasure they gave to my flesh. Visions of me taking Asahi, Dawn, and the rest of them, making them cry and beg for mercy, denying it every step of the way, each of these visions aroused me more and more. So much so, I found myself eager for the chance to act out this vision on the actual warm sex of meat themselves. I felt if my blood was boiling with desires, with need, I need to beat them, I need them, make, make them scream too. No! Shouts Asahi. The scream pierced my ears and prompted me to look up as the overworders, as did the underworders, and what I saw made me grin with excitement. Asahi and Don were standing a short distance away, twin expression of horror on their faces as they looked at what I had become. Horrors that deepened when I licked my chops at what I saw. Warm giggle flesh that was barely concealed with their minimal clothes, flesh that deserved to be taken and used for my pleasure. Whoa, ha! I knew that you or some of your friends couldn't resist coming along sooner or later, not when your secret weapon was in our grabs, grabs. Too bad that you just a tad late, how sad, he <laughs> Nef set our new weapon down so he can take them. Without another word, Nef let dropped me to the ground, even as Gwendor dismounted me. But I had already forgotten the ghostly girl the instant my hands made contact with the blocks, I built them into action. In an instance, the every landscape came apart and Asahi and Don carrying them into the air, even as more blocks came after them from all sides. Moving to restrain them, I make them mine. Don, rabbit hole, now! I had no idea what Asahi was yammering about, but I did notice a darkness. It, I did notice in the darkness the way she was aiming her crossbow. Okay. Realizing that I would not like whether she, I would not like whatever she had in mind, I commanded the blocks to intercept the arrow, but she fired before they could reach her. The arrow struck one of the blocks and instantly exploded into a burst of light. All around me the underworld girls cried out in pain and shoot their eyes. It's like a flashbang, right? As for me, I did the same, but I also continued to order blocks to move and try and grab hold of one of the big silhouettes I could just barely make out in a flood of light. With a pain cry letting me know that I had at least been partially successful. Asahi, hang on, Al. Don, no, get out of here. The light was already fading, my eyes recovering, allowing me to see Asahi pressed between the blocks, but I couldn't find Don. Where are you, Duck? <laughs> now it's Duck Takeshi, right? Where are you, Don? Come on, I could play. I can play with your girls again. But I can't just go as long as one of us stays in the light. There's still hope. Go now. I finally spotted Dawn or at least part of her heading, her head sticking out of an impossible hole in a nearby tree. Realizing that she has the ability similar to Gwennor, I snuck eagerly sending the blocks after her, already imagining her breast against in her breast again in my hands and the things I would do to them and her. Okay, but at the last second Dawn noticed oncoming block and quickly ducked her head into the hole. I'm sorry Asahi, I'm sorry. And just like that, Don disappeared along the hole she had slipped through, leaving me to stand in hatred at the knowledge of one of my toys slip through my fingers. And all because Asahi never told me that she has, she had arrows such as, as that, she had withheld the information from me. I swore I would make her scream for that. And with my eyes fully recovered and the blocks holding her tight, I roared in fury and made and had more of the blocks wrapped around her wrists and ankles. Anyway, guys. We are about to reach the 15 minutes mark, I have no choice but I, gotta, I have to stop here. But do not worry because I'm giving, although your time is lesser, the amount of content would, would be the same right since I'm posting the videos around the same frequency. So the total amount of time on the videos per week will be will still be the same alright. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the, the, the next part or episode alright, goodbye! Whoa 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 Did you get scared? Now subscribe to my channel and I promise you, you'll never get scared again. Or watch more videos and you'll be able to find your peace in life.